Have you ever stopped to ask, individually or as a team, what are the reasons people are going to select to do business with us? Very simply, you lower their risk at making a decision. You make their life and business condition better and it's obvious to them that you will. Personally or as a team, you are more likeable, reliable and credible than your competition and you better communicate your value. Congratulations on investing your time and energy learning how you can communicate better than your competition. You have my personal guarantee it'll pay off. In my role as a sales presentation coach and trainer, I have had the opportunity to hear hundreds of sales presentations. As a business owner, I've listened to dozens of salespeople every year trying to convince me to give them my business. Would you be interested in some of their biggest mistakes? First, they talk too much about themselves or their company. Second, their presentation structure is faulty. Imagine your prospects, one at a time, or a small group of recommenders or decision makers are listening to you and are thinking, so what? Who cares? What's in it for me or our company? I hate to tell you, many of them are. How do you improve listener buy-in for your point of view? Very simply, understand it's not about you or your products. It's about them, the prospects and how they benefit. To be persuasive, we need to appeal to the other person's rational self-interest. People make decisions for their reasons, not yours. Your presentation has to be designed from their point of view and it has to focus on what is of interest to them. Your explanation of how you can help needs to be clear and concise. Forget your company history or industry jargon. You have heard the expression, a confused mind always says no. Here is a fripicism. A bored mind gets distracted and cuts your meeting short. Simplify and clarify how your prospects can benefit from your product or service. At the beginning of the relationship, when you are discovering if they have a need or how much opportunity is there for you to help, they need to do most of the talking. Take notes on what they say. When appropriate, feedback their words in your conversation and then in your proposal. Our prospects never disagree with themselves. Add as many of their comments as you can into your presentation. Your job as a sales professional is to help your prospect make decisions in your favor. This means you need to ask good questions. The key to connection is conversation. The secret of conversation is to ask questions. The quality of the information you receive depends on the quality of your questions. In your conversations and presentations, you probably have good questions that help with your discovery. My recommendation is, even if you know them well, write them down. If you're part of a team, collaborate with them and add to your list. It is very difficult to be creative in isolation. During your process of finding the need for your product or service, you will talk to several or many people before you deliver a more formal presentation. Naturally, you want to get to the decision maker or economic buyer as fast as possible. This is the person you need to build a relationship with. Often you can get closer to them when the questions you ask can't be answered by the person you are initially talking to. We will take a look at the quality of your questions next. First, let's answer a couple of questions. It is very difficult to be creative 